Item number SCP-1939-J, Security Level 1, Containment Class, Pending. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1939-J is to be neutralized as soon as possible. However, the anomaly is currently uncontained. Description SCP-1939-J is a broken ceiling tile. It is located in Dr. Helen Kiefer's living quarters, directly above her bed. SCP-1939-J appears to have been created by a combination of faulty piping located above Dr. Kiefer's living quarters and the general disrepair of Site 47's Floor 6 staff housing wing. These theories are supported by the consistent leakage of water from the opening into Site 47's internal structure. SCP 1939J created, as well as the smell of mildew, had has persisted within Dr. Kiefer's quarters after the creation of SCP 1939J, which has caused Dr. Kiefer to suffer from congestion and several headaches. SCP 1939J was discovered a month ago when Dr. Kiefer noticed this present. While laying in bed, Dr. Kiefer, as all Site 47 employees are instructed to do in such a situation, contacted the site mains department via email in order to repair the ceiling tiles and replace the piping above her living quarters, therefore neutralizing the anomaly. However, the maintenance department is yet to respond to the threat posed by SCP-1939-J. Dr. Kiefer has attempted to contact the Maine's department via four subsequent emails and has made a personal visit to the department's office to discuss the matter. However, no progress in containing SCP-1939-J has been made by the proper authorities. During the time SCP-1939-J has remained uncontained, it has caused damage to Site-47 property and injury to Site staff. Due to SCP-1939-J's location above Dr. Kiefer's bed, she has suffered sleep deprivation due to water droplets falling from the anomaly onto her head when she was attempting to rest. A week after SCP-1939-J was discovered, Dr. Kiefer was provided an air-filled mattress by the Site-47 Mains Department. However, this mattress is incapable of remaining inflated for long periods of time due to several leaks located on it, causing Dr. Kiefer to largely sleep on the floor of her living quarters while attempting to use it. The pillow placed on the bed under SCP-1939-J has become waterlogged and is now unusable. You haven't made an entry to the database because we haven't gone to your roof yet, Helen. Mains Director, Robert Hawks. Oh, now I have your attention. Senior Researcher Helen Kiefer.